Okay, we are into our MySQL database oh, using the PHP Miami. Okay, I have a database test here, and it has no table. Oh, zero table. So I'm just gonna quickly create a table. Uh, first, okay, could be uh, any name, or right, maybe just give it a very small table, three column. Alright, uh, maybe call it column A, uh, let's say Vacha 25, All right, column B, again another right, Vacha 25, and I don't know, it could be uh, column C, okay, integer, doesn't matter. Or I, actually, I only need two columns. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so I got one test table. Oh, I can see a test table here. I can see a test table here. All right, column A, B, and C. All right, which of course, since I just created it, it is actually empty. All right. Now let me go back to the structure. Okay. Now column C uh, is. I'm not going to use it. All right. So it doesn't matter what is inside it. But I want to create a composite primary key, not just a primary key. I want to create a composite primary key, which means a primary key that is made up of two or more columns. So I want to make use of my column A and column B as the composite primary key. That's why I select it. Okay, then column C is just a data. All right. So using the PHP my admin select these two you will see a primary key over here so I'm gonna press this primary key over here all right. so now you can see these two key over here all right so the primary key is not one but uh, two all right two particular uh, column okay but let's see whether it works or not all right okay let's just test whether it works or not okay so now it's empty. So I'm going to uh, insert. Okay, I'm going to insert uh, data into it. Okay, so let's say column A, I put A. Column B, I put uh, 1. Column C could be anything. Okay, so maybe I just leave it as 0. And insert. Alright. So, okay, here it is. You went in. Okay, no problem. Okay, anyway, it's the first record, so no problem. So I'm going to insert again column A with a A. Alright, with a A. Alright, okay. Uh, something different for column B. And this one, I don't really care. Okay, now based on the concept of primary key, it has to be unique. Alright, so let's try okay inserted view it okay so a is duplicated see a a uh, but b is new okay one and two all right so there is a duplication in column a all right. i'm going to insert a third uh, row okay all right uh, by duplicating the column b all right so b already has one and two so let's say uh, column A is a C, something new, and maybe this one is a 1, which is already inside. And I'm going to add this in. Okay, now I'm going to browse it. So A, A over here, duplicate 1 and 1, column B duplicate. So it seems like it's not working, but actually it is. Okay, what if I duplicate this record, C1, okay, C1, column A is C, column B is 1, okay, let's say I put this, okay, so column A is C, column B is 1, and just to make it different, let's say this one is uh, 8, so I'm going to try, there is an error, see, 
error in inserting all right why because duplicate entry for primary key notice that okay so when you actually have more than one column or or more than one attribute as the composite primary key they have to be exactly the same for all the attribute in order for it to uh, have a conflict right so the uniqueness is actually on the composite primary key itself and not just part of it so i hope that clarify the how to create all right uh, the composite primary key in mysql using php my admin and uh, give you a bit of idea on your uh, this composite primary key as well as well how you can use it to work on your project